It was a program that had won three straight MCAC Northern Division championships, but in 2014, Northland Community and Technical College would not take this field. It caused a little bit of a rift. There was controversy. Outrage. Community. No one was happy. Northland suspended its football program following the 2013 season, setting a need for a change in culture. There was a culture that uh, was not fitting to being focused uh, in our football program on on uh, academics and achieving and preparing themselves for life by suspending the program and then bringing it back. You know, there you have a complete slate, a new slate to work with. With a clean slate, Northland football is back in 2015 and has turned to a local in Travis Martin to restart the program. This is home for me. Um, my mom's side of the family is from here. My grandparents live just across the street from the football field here. Um, this uh, could not have been a better opportunity. The biggest thing was to get the coaching staff in order, uh, get, get a plan together, uh, get a recruiting plan together, and, uh, and then uh, to, uh, to uh, go get a team. Head coach Travis Martin got a late start to recruiting. He was hired in January, but entering week one, the Pioneers will have 60 players on their roster. Spent a lot of time with me on the phone talking me into you know coming here and giving Northland a try so that's really how the coaches from here are pretty good at recruiting so that's how I ended up here. We're all from different states not even city states and we just got to figure out how we are as a team. Pride you know it's my town putting on the line I want to fill those stands and put on a show for people. This is something that the whole community whether they know young men on the team or not or are related to them, um, we want them to come out here and feel like they're a part of this. We don't look at it as a restart, we look at it as just a start. Like we don't think about the past, we don't bring the past up, we just focus on what's in front of us and all the games we have ahead of us. Reporting for Sports Sunday, I'm Phil Newman.